I missed the shit out of this car. How long has it been? A month, or not a month. About three weeks. Yeah, almost yeah. a month. Been here about three weeks. Yeah, we sent it to Miami for Brooks. My he got to experience car. it. Look how good that thing looks, man. Cold start. I've been in the GT3 so much lately, and it's uh, same, it's crazy because Porsche makes the same it's the same chassis, uh, but yet so different. These cars yeah, are exactly. so different the way they do things. I it's, mean, this is much more comfortable, yeah. obviously, with the seats and everything. It's like riding in luxury with sick horsepower in it. It's exactly, just, it's a win-win. Yeah. there's not a single complaint with this car. Turbo the biggest lives. complaint with these cars are the sound. Yeah, and even then. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's, you're never gonna get a, a V8, V10, V12 sound out of this car. What you are gonna get though is a lot of turbo noise. Great turbo noise. Um, and they they do have their own Porsche uh, Boxster Six. Do have their own sound. You can hear them when they're coming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it went to it went to uh, Miami, and as soon as I got there, it, it broke. So it's been a, yeah, it's been a month. So what was the problem that the car had? So the car, because it's lowered so much, um, it throws off the computer system thinking that it's not at its proper ride height. So in turn, it loses control with the chassis control. Uh -huh. In turn, I lose Sport and Sport Plus, which this car only drives in uh, regular mode. You're losing a whole bunch of performance. We had to actually put some links in it to trick it like it's at its uh, regular ride height. And uh, hopefully that will stop us from doing that. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, they got it tricked. So hopefully it stays connected to the chassis control. The car actually died while it was here. A relay went bad, so they yeah. changed the relay. I'm hoping two things. One, it didn't throw off the ECU yeah. tune and reset itself. And two, I hope it didn't shut down the meth kit. this off the line with the all-wheel drive system you're not gonna find one exactly you can barely find one to keep up with it let alone i mean we, you know it's just different level car shit yeah. feel the clutch slipping yeah that's, that's the, the next upgrade we need too much to power this car. too much power can't handle the, the yeah. clutch can't handle the power nope it slips like crazy for the people that don't know that haven't watched the old video of this car because we haven't posted in a while yeah how much power is this pushing? So right now the car is on 93 
octane man. Car's running just about 800 all wheel horsepower to the wheels. Yeah. You put on race gas. Race gas, it goes up about another 100 to 120, so it's about 920 to the wheels. Um, and it's, it's a lot. Down. Not all the way down. 93 octane, air conditioning. Back your, send you back to the scene. Like. Nothing like it, man. Now, this is also a very special car to you because yeah. you you got it brand new, yeah. built it. A special car, yeah. It is. And you have no plans of getting rid of it. No, no this car's not going anywhere. Now, no. we do have a car coming. Um, that's all I'm, we're gonna say. The most aggressive, outrageous car. You're not gonna see too many people with it, I can tell you that. Uh, that's all we can say as of now. Um, you don't wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be a little while, but. It'll be a little while. The car well is worth the wait. Deposit is in. The car is, uh, the car is configured and built. That is in. We're just waiting for the build to get locked and then build and obviously get delivered. So it's a process, but it is started and allocation is accepted and paid for. How does the car feel to have feedback, finally get to drive it, enjoy it? How does it feel? The car feels great, uh, amazing. Powerful as hell like normal, <laughs> performs great. We're having a problem with the clutches now, slipping too much power. The car's just amazing, insane, man. Happy to get it back, yeah, totally. Time to upgrade the clutch as well, like you said. Yeah, it looks like next step maybe, <clears throat> maybe clutch. We've tried to up, uh, up the line pressure on it twice, which we have, it's just still, it's just too much power for it. Uh, we're able to pick it up and it's back home now for good, hopefully. It is. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yep. Um, expect the GT3 and a Turbo S video very soon. Coming soon, yep. That being said, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow our social media down below. Peace.